In this fishing tutorial, I'm going to explain the importance of loop knots and how to make them. So why are loop knots important? Well, they're used for attaching rigs to poles and whips. They're used for attaching two pieces of line together, like a leader to a fly line or a hook to nylon to main line. And carp anglers will use them for presenting hard baits on hooks by making a hair rig with a loop. And I even use them myself when I'm lure angling for attaching uh, lures to a knotable wire trace does away with all the terminal tackle like snap links and the like. So let's look at how we can make them. As a beginner I learned how to tie a loop knot using diagrams which I found quite mind-boggling. I make a loop like so then make another loop like that and then push this through twice. One, two and pull tight. Always wet your knot first and then cut the tag end off. If you want to know how to make your loop knot smaller, rather than pulling tight, roll the knot towards the end of the loop. Like that. You'll notice that a loop knot, also known as the surgeon's knot, will kick off to the side slightly when it's tied. If you want a straight loop with no kink, a perfection loop is marginally better and I'll cover that in a different video. Make a loop in your line like so. Use your index finger to bring tension into it and pinch it at the bottom like that. Put the loop knot tire over the bay over the bottom there and make two twists. Once you've made the twists push the loop into the gap like so. Make sure it doesn't come loose just pull tight like that. And there we go, there's our loop knot. Very small, very practical. I hope that's useful. With a 95% strength rating, they're an exceptionally useful knot. And it's also worth mentioning perhaps that every course angler should be using one to attach a weaker hook length to their main line so that if a fish does break the line, it's only swimming around with a short length of line attached to it, not a load of terminal tackle, floats, leads and the like. If you can't manage to tie it on your first attempt, don't panic. Start off with thicker line. I've used sea fishing line for the demo, but work your way down from thicker lines to thinner lines. Thanks for watching, and please consider subscribing or adding a comment or a like because it helps what we do here at Fishwish. Good luck.